Hello. Hello. All right. Hi. <laughs> How do I? Hello. Hey, how y'all doing? Doing all right. How you doing? Kind of tired. <laughs> lots of wrestling. Lots and lots. All right. See, I gotta get it on this. Okay. All right. That's good. That's good. Let's see. I'm gonna figure out how to get it back on. One moment. Oh, that's a new There we go. All right. <laughs> Hello, hello, hello. Y'all excited for SmackDown? The time is coming for a resurrection. Yeah. Where did I put my... Hello, hello. Beware the coming darkness to the WWE landscape. Damn. <laughs> Ginger ale. <laughs> Good old ginger ale. Hey, what's up? Happy Friday to you too. Actually off today. Good evening. How are you? I do work, but I'm off today. I probably have to work tomorrow though, which fucking sucks. Two weeks. 
Damn. Hope you're okay. Hope it's healing well. Ooh. Hope the operation goes well. I'll watch it. Just I don't know if I'll be able to watch it live. Hey! I'm hoping. I'm hoping. Hello, hello. Come on. Hello, hello, happy Friday. Trying to get my internet to work on my phone here. Ah. Yes, at least you're here tonight. <laughs> Trying to fix my my internet on my phone so I can watch it. <laughs> Y'all think Liv's gonna take it tomorrow? I hope. I hope. I hope. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do on my phone. Hey, how are you, Nevo? Mm, no, because then I'll have to start everything over. It's just my phone being dumb. On, There we go. There we go. There we go. There's Bianca. Yeah. Internet prices are crazy. I don't know. My phone with the internet lately always goes out. Always. And I have to like mirror it off my phone to watch it on the TV since I'm on um, the West Coast to watch it at five. So that's why I'm like mirroring it off my phone. So yeah. <laughs> I did. I did. I made it. I made it. <laughs> I have to turn the Wi-Fi off and on on my phone to get it to ever work. Like sometimes it'll only work with the Wi-Fi off. Then I have to turn it back on. Then it'll work. I don't even know. Yeah, no, they didn't call me today. At all. Mmm, <laughs> people are aggressive this week, I'm gonna say. The customers are aggressive this week. For everybody, not just me. It's been a weird week. Hello. <laughs>
Yeah, it was a fucking weird week, man. And then we had to sign something at work saying, you know, like, if customers are aggressive or whatever, we can't react or have any reaction or yada, yada, yada. So I'm like, they must fucking know. Shit's going around. <laughs> I think Naya's going to beat Bianca. Then at that point, won't Naya and Jade's going to have to take out fucking... Or, I mean, Jade and Bianca's going to have to take out Naya since she eliminated both of them if that happens. Avoid the internet. Avoid Twitter. <laughs> Just for a little bit. Like on pay-per-view days or, sometime, or something, sometimes I, like, avoid it. It's all you really can do. You'll find something anywhere on the internet on it. Well, you had to sign it. Everybody had to sign it. <laughs> it's okay, though. Normally, yeah, Naya's going to win this one. You can <laughs> I'm. I'll try to stream tomorrow. So far, I'm still working. But we'll see. We'll see. I can't promise nothing tomorrow. Which fucking sucks, because I've been trying. Mute all the wrestling sites of all- yeah. <laughs> if I'm getting <laughs> cussed out, like, this guy once called me, like, a dumb bitch, and I was just kind of laughing. I don't- I hope she doesn't lose. You imagine if Judgment Day came and helped her win? Ooh. The turn on Rhea there. That'd be crazy. Okay, so they're in Saudi Arabia already for SmackDown. All right. Yeah, no way Bianca's winning. It's going to be Lyra versus Nia. Yeah. That gave the clue to me. <laughs> Winning money in the live morning. I think Tiffany, I want Tiffany to win money in the bank. Oh, they asked, they did ask Dom in a podcast. See, you see? He's innocent until proven guilty. Oh, it's going to be proved. No, I agree. I thought Naya and Naomi should have been in the bloodline for like a fucking long time. Oh, Liv's going to win something. They're not going to keep having her lose. Like if she loses tomorrow, she's winning something big. <laughs> fucking Dom Dom. Uh, him and Rhea are done, done. <laughs> I would love it if Judgment Day helped her win. Just like that would be a whole turn on Rhea. It'd be great. Damage control helping live? Maybe. Good. He's trying to help mommy get back soon, but he was innocent until proven guilty. Yeah, he's so guilty. He guilty. Am I? Oh, shit. No, I'm not. I can see. Can you hear me? Can anybody hear me? So you can hear me. Okay. All right. I figured I could see the little thing going. Okay, maybe you're muted, Eric. Maybe you accidentally muted it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I figured I could see the, the mic thingy moving. Okay. <laughs> Okay.
Yeah, Liv had a bandana in her pocket in like a photo shoot she did. Hey, Raphael, how you doing tonight? What? <laughs> what? Dude, Liv did good against the what's on Monday. She did good against them on Sunday. I might call in sick tomorrow, actually. Just use my sick hours. Uncle Hattie's got to show up. Something's happening tomorrow, right? Some with it, they're just not going to leave it empty. Well, I have sick hours. We did have to like sign the stupid attendance. I love it. I love it. The one time I called in sick, like last month, the one the day I decided to call in sick was the day that they started giving out attendance things. I'm like, really, y'all? Really? The day I call out sick, you guys have to start signing, like, attendance shit. Destroying my life. But I think you're okay if you have sick hours. Yeah, I was thinking calling out sick. They're not going to be happy, though. I might do it, like, tonight for tomorrow, because I think the... Yeah. It's not one of the main managers tonight. Not the one I always end up getting when I call out. <laughs> there's good managers, and there's ones that... Sh or that are... That suck. <laughs> I wasn't always so scared of getting in trouble. No, I'm one of their best people there, so like. You already saw a SmackDown? Two night SummerSlam. Hey, how are you? Lorenzo, how's your day going? Mine's good. Two night SummerSlam in 2026. So they're going to start doing SummerSlams and WrestleManias for two nights? Okay. It's good. Uh. See, I don't mind having two night WrestleManias and shit, but if you want to go to a WrestleMania, it's so much more expensive. Because you got to go both nights. Or call out for two nights. <laughs> I somehow got WrestleMania that time, though. I straight up fucking talked to the manager about that one. Yeah. It's getting too expensive to, like, go at all. Because, like, going to one night of WrestleMania would be crazy enough, but having to get tickets for two nights is, like, damn. Damn. Okay, I see. Nope. Nope. <laughs> yeah, but see, like, normally, like, I love Liv, and some of the best matches 
Well, see, it depends. A lot of times I like people that are on both the sh both of the nights. I remember like the year before last when like Liv had a match, she was on night one and the other matches were on night two. It's just hard. Well, SummerSlam's always been like the second one to WrestleMania. And I feel like the third to that is like Royal Rumble, then Money in the Bank. I could see Charlotte showing up tomorrow. She seems like she's been ready for a little bit. Yeah, Bianca losing this one. I'd be fucking shocked if she didn't. Because then you'd have like two faces against each other. See, that wouldn't make sense. You gotta have a heel on a face. Pick the one I'm looking forward to the most the other night. Yeah, but if I'm already all the way down there, like, I want to go both nights. Like, if I'm already in Vegas, I'm going to want to be there for both nights. But that's me. Yeah, people aren't dumb. <laughs> Y'all actually think Lyra would beat Naya? I don't know, man. It'd be pretty crazy to see Naya. It would be actually kind of funny to see Naya with the crowd. Um... Uh... Yeah, I don't see Lyra winning like that. Mm. Logan's. <laughs> yep, Nia won. Live reverse live. Oh, yeah, that's coming soon. I was always kind of a live fan, but really, what cemented it, it was kind of like uh, when she went against Charlotte before she went away for that little bit again. Cause you could fucking tell her passion and shit. And I was like, damn bro. And like, I was a live, uh, Lita fan before. So I could tell who she kind of like reminded me of. And it was like Lita. One of the first that reminded me of Lita again. And then it just stuck. Oh, yeah, she's gotten a lot more confident on the mic. A lot. Yeah, but Liv beat you, Naya. Liv beat you, Naya. I liked that storyline. I thought that was funny. They fucking nailed the whole uh, her interrupting the wedding shit. She nailed it. Yeah. Well, she got uh, lessons and stuff, I think. Like, she's really been working on it. I feel like Naya's going to win tomorrow. Theory and Waller. 
Yeah, I think so too on that one. I'm not even a Naya fan, <laughs> obviously. But I feel like it is too soon for Lyra. That'd be bullshit to give that shit to like Lyra before Tiffany. Just saying. Then again, I'm a, I'm a really big Tiffany fan. Tiffany's winning money in the bank. I could see that. I, that's what I want, too. But I mean, no, Lyra's good and everything. It's not that I'm saying that. I just feel like she just got there and to win Queen of the Ring already would be kind of crazy. Yeah, no. Will be, yeah, I could see that too. They did set her up to fail if they were already putting her on that. Same with like poor um, Alba and Aya. They brought her up and they like didn't even know what to do with her. I wish they had brought Tatum up. I was hoping they were going to bring Tatum up. Queen Shani. Yeah, I would do it. <laughs> I'd beat Naya. <laughs> it is sad. I could see her doing the management role easily. Easily. I don't know. <laughs> yes. Yes, I'd go beat Naya. <laughs> Blair is a good call up. So happy Sonia's back. I'm so fucking happy Sonia's back. I want to beat Liv. We'd be tag partners. She does fit Sister Abigail, I agree. Oh, we never get signings here. No, I haven't seen any of the WWE speeds yet. Isn't Ricochet like the speed champ? There's Tiffany. He like never has the belt on him though when he comes out. Indy and Candice. Dude, Sonia, Shayna, and Zoe would be insane. Insane. I would love it. Why are people mad about it? 
Yeah, they're already there. They're already in Saudi Arabia right now. Yeah, they're in Saudi already. He is. Fucking love Waller. Yeah. I actually totally forgot AEW was what was this weekend. Something going on with AEW this weekend. Liv, Sonya, and Jade? Maybe, let's see. Can't be a nice new addition to the women's division. Well, isn't Maxine kind of in it? Which pay-per-view of it is theirs this weekend? I loved AEW in the first few years, but like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't see Ricochet leaving WWE anyway. Carmelo Hayes. Yeah, AEW had such a good chance too. Oh, of course I love Ruby. I'd love Ruby back in WWE after she has her baby and everything. The Riot Squad reunion. I don't know, man. Naya might win tomorrow. Like, Lyra was good and all, but, like, she just went through Bianca and Jade. To have, like, Lyra beat her would be pretty crazy. No? If Naya wins, you're done with Naya. Oh, AJ's not going anywhere. Let's see, probably Naya for for Queen. I don't know who's your King of the Ring pick. Gunther, yes, Gunther. Gunther, Gunther, or Naya. That's all. Yeah, it just reminded me. Gunther for sure. No, no, I see it being Gunther. Elevate him to the next belt. Yeah, didn't they want to elevate him to the next title after the Intercontinental one? So it might be him for sure. Dude, Gunther versus Drew would be great. I still want to see Drew versus CM Punk. I 
And now they're making fun of LA Knight. Oh shit. Here comes LA Knight. He's gotta, he's gotta come. Ricochet and Roxy. Here's LA Knight. <laughs> Knew it. Yeah. Next year, Ricochet and Roxanne. Roxanne's got to be coming soon. <laughs> right? What the fuck? They're like waiting on that shit. He's needed a belt for a fucking while. Fucking love him. <laughs> Jericho. Yes. Honestly, I just want Jericho like to take a well-deserved break and then reinvent himself one more time and come back to WWE. Well, it doesn't have to be one more time, but to come back to WWE for like another run. And then, yeah, because I just want him, if he's going to retire, I want it to be in WWE, period. And I know people are doing the please retire chance, but once he fucking retires, people will then miss him. That's how the fans are, man. They don't know what they have till it's gone. It's people in general. Yeah, I know that, but like, still, that's what I wish. Well, he's done everything he really can there. Like, he needs to go back to WWE. Isn't Matt in, like, TNA right now? Yeah, Roxanne versus Julia would be awesome. I've been to, like, three Fozzie shows. <laughs> Each one of them, I was in the absolute front. Every one of them. Fucking loved Jericho. Yeah, that's why I thought he was in TNA. There's the Street Profits. Dude, I wanted the Hardys to come back in WWE. I wanted the Hardys back in WWE. I wanted Jericho back in WWE. Ruby. Fucking Paige. Ambrose. I want the shield to reunite. Lead us. Six man tag match play. She's been wrestling in AEW, no? The fuck? Where did that come from? That has nothing to do with any of them. None of them. You're just starting trouble. <laughs> nothing to do with any of them. No, 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 Enzo. Well, I just don't like him in AEW. I miss him. And I want them to have a chance with Triple H as the person in charge. That's what it is. I want them to have a chance with Triple H in charge this time around. Yeet.
Mandy will be back eventually. I don't care what anyone says. <laughs> you say Jesus Christ on a motorbike. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> At this point. At this point. Crow started a whole thing. No, nah, she's making a lot of money, but it doesn't mean that she won't go and get publicity at some point and hang around with her friends a bit for a while. She's still making money. Doesn't mean she can't do that and then go back. They were supposed to until Mandy got fucking fired, which she shouldn't have gotten fucking fired. If anyone could be the leader of toxic attraction besides Mandy, it would be Sonia. She got fired for her OnlyFans. I think because of the, wasn't it because of the action, the company that makes the action figures? Got like pissed off or some shit, something like that. Yes. I would love it too. A Blair package. Yeah, I think it had something to do with the toy company. Action figures. Street Profits and LA Knight versus Waller Theory and Carmelo Hayes. Carmelo's awesome. Talented as a motherfucker. I don't know. I ordered pizza last night, like, after work. It fucking sucked. Nothing's worse. <laughs> then when you're hella or hungry, you order food and it fucking blows. Mm-hmm. I remember that one. Well, because that policy wasn't going to fucking work. <laughs> no, we don't have Pizza Hut here. I got to get the damn commercials going here. <laughs> I want to watch it tomorrow. Let's see, chicken tenders, there's Mexican food, Chinese food, pizza again. <laughs> the commercials be doing their job, man. Well, pizza sucked yesterday because I normally order it from this one place, but of course it was closed because I got home so late. Taco Bell's good. Can't go wrong with Taco Bell. 
Fucking can't stand Naya, but her run this year has been really good so far. I'm not going to lie. So basically, for on the West Coast, for me, it, it is going to be on at 10 a.m. You can't go wrong with Taco Bell. So, yeah, it's probably going to be on uh, at 10 a.m. for you then. Early, early. <laughs> I try. What you going to get from Taco Bell? Ah, uh, NASCAR is more important. <laughs> Dude, I just gotta see Liv's match tomorrow, man. I should have fucking asked for the day off earlier in the fucking month. Next pay per view, I gotta put it in. Um, I haven't gotten Taco Bell in so long. Usually just like a freaking steak quesadilla and like some bean cheese rice ones. Burritos. Simple. Extra cheese though. <laughs> It's true. I just get like a couple of the cheesy bean and rice burritos and like a steak quesadilla extra cheese. I've never had Taco Bell breakfast. So I don't know. Barbecue burritos? No. We have some good ass places out here. <laughs> really, is that bad? They failed breakfasts. Breakfasts. I've never said that. <laughs> they failed breakfasts. Breakfast. God, last night at work, it was crazy with the shoplifting. It was nuts. I was working towards the back, and I just kept watching the shoplifters just run out the door. And then I just kept <laughs> catching customers switching tags all night. <sighs> it's been a weird week. Just watch them run out, and there's nothing anyone could really do because in California right now the laws are fucking bullshit. I think in California right now you could steal up to like nine hundred fifty dollars and only get a ticket. So it's fucking crazy. Ooh, sneaking in the quesadilla is hell yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, we have loss prevention there. Like, we have security there, but it's not much they can do legally. So it's like everyone's hands are basically tied. <laughs> I'm sure some of them do that shit, man. They come in and then, like, they'll do non receipted like, shit and get merchandise credit. It's, it's a lot of crazy shit. Get, like, a million purses. 
Alistair Black would be awesome to come back. Him and Zelina could be together there. Put one item back. Hold on, we're one over the limit. Still has a whole fucking, like, truckload of shit. It was crazy, because, like, when the PS5 came out, I was like, bro, basically someone could steal a PS5, and the ticket's probably going to be cheaper than the fucking PS5, so they got themselves a PS5. It's crazy. It's like, what the fuck? There was, like, a customer in front of me, too, and she watched them run out. And she, like, got hella freaked out. I'm like, it happens all the time. And she's like, so, she's like, we're sitting here buying stuff, and they're just getting it for free? I'm like, yep. <laughs> Pretty much. Fucking crazy. It's bullshit. <laughs> it's fucking crazy. <laughs> Not necessarily. Not all places had it in a case. I think the the shit that's most stolen at my job is socks and underwear. Straight up. Because I think they steal all of it and then they resell it. That's what I think. That's what we got to do. We got to start putting shit in fucking cases now at this point because it's fucking insane. California. They sell, they like steal the luggage and they'll start filling up the luggage with everything. <laughs> <laughs> that's just what they do dude Montez is freaking insane he's so good oh nice so isn't that like SoCal I hear that but like I used to get mad about the cases too but it's like what else are the stores supposed to do at this point they're just getting like Everything stolen. No shit. Yep, so SoCal. They were traveling to fucking back to wherever they can. I don't know. I don't think they're traveling. I was going to make a joke, but I couldn't come up with anything. Damn it. <laughs> roads Randy and Cody and now I'm hungry now that you mentioned Taco Bell
Hello, how you doing? I fucking love it. I would love it if Cody won. I don't see Cody winning over him though in Saudi. Ah. Uh, I guess Taco Bell would be okay for that though, no? Certain things? Or are you just stuck with eating like yogurt and stuff? Dude, at this point, yeah, fast food is getting more expensive than uh, actual restaurant food, which is okay. It's yeah. crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Is it because, well, I know in California, like, they raise the minimum wage for fast food workers to like 20 an hour now. So I'm guessing that the, it went up because of that. Well, they're making more than I make. <laughs> they're making more money than I make right now. Yeah, I know. I know. Like, my job wanted... <laughs> yeah, 20 an hour. No, 15 is our minimum here. But fast food workers, it got jumped to 20. Specifically, fast food workers are getting 20 an hour. But regularly, it's six, 15 an hour in California. I know I need a raise. Trust me. Trust me. I'm fucking training people. I'm doing everyone else's job. Literally getting the most cards in the company. Like at my store, I think. They wanted to promote me, but it was just going to be a dollar more, and it wasn't even full time, and you have a shit ton more to do. I was like, that's not worth it. If you can't even fucking give me full time, I'm not doing it. <laughs> For a fucking dollar more. Yeah, no, I'm not going to get like 50 million things more put on me for just a fucking dollar more and not even fucking full time. That's stupid. Give me a better offer. <laughs> yeah. Because the people in the position I'm talking about literally have to do like way too much for nothing. And they're always stressed and they're always this and they're always that. It's like, why would I want that right now? I don't, not, a, not at the moment. 45 hours a week. Dude, there's some people at my. WCW was beating WWE for a while, but like WWE came right back. WWF back then.
Dama Danga. Ooh, Bailey and Naya. You got your Taco Bell. Damn. I'm jealous. I'm jelly. Oh, shit. The big time fight. To see how far lives come, man. It's crazy. Remember back in the day, people thought she kept, like, was going to get fired and shit? Now look at her. Mm -hmm. I love live. I love 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 live. Ob obviously. <laughs> I'm jealous. So jealous. Mortal Kombat type entrance stage and not just these American Got Talent stages. <laughs> Damn. Damn.
the next Stone Cold? Closest to the Attitude Era we have right now would be LA Knight. Gargano. DIY. Yeah. I just wish they would give him a belt. <laughs> What happened? You don't like Deanna anymore? Bailey. Gosh, they screwed another one. They screwed up another one. Chelsea Green. Pele Knight with a stoner gimmick? Hmm. Yeah, I know. They fuck up everybody, and that sucks. It fucking sucks. <laughs> I'd get excited in the beginning, like, when people started coming in, but then, like, they screwed it up. I could see Britt Baker in WWE. That'd be awesome. Chelsea versus Bailey is a big match for her. <laughs> Damn, she just smacked Bailey over. Yeah, I don't know what they do with her. She was at least in the Royal Rumble, though. Hey, Beer Money, how you doing? Bring Adam Cole back, too. Bring them all back. Barbecue Monday. Yes, 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 yes. No, no, not him. No, not him. No, 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 no. Enzo can stay gone. I know. Not that one. Ooh, I could see that too. There's hell of like things that could happen. Cause I know the real lip shit ain't over. I know that's not over.
Maybe I'll call in tonight for tomorrow. That's what I think. Hey, that's the spirit. <laughs> Gotta be live, right? Well, live in Rhea's thing's not over yet. <laughs> not over yet. Wonder if Dom will be with Liv by then too. Be crazy. Oh no. Do send prayers to her. It's fucking awful. Fuck, that fucking sucks. Tell them you have something in your eye and can't see yourself coming in. <laughs> oh my god. Ooh, Bailey beat Chelsea, but now Piper's going after Bailey. Liv wins the title tomorrow, and her and Dom have a celebration live on Monday night. Ooh, can you imagine that, too? That'd be fucking great. Tell him Asuka missed me, and I can't see. <laughs> can you imagine? Oh my god. They would have zero clue. Except maybe one of the managers. Oh yeah, Lana and Bobby. <laughs> Yeah, Bobby and Lana. Yep. Yeah, I know. Live single now. There's AJ Styles. Chelsea and Sonia as a team. Yes, that'd be cool. They were a cool team. Yeah, that is his worst nightmare. <laughs> 
Chelsea and Carmella was great too. Sonia and Chelsea and Chelsea and Carmella. Oh yeah, she would be. Oh, hopefully. Hope she gets well soon, whatever she's, because I haven't heard yet. Orton versus Tonga. Gotta be Orton, right? NXT is going to be at UFC. Oh, have a good evening. Go eat. Take care. That'd be fucking funny. They should do that. In Vegas, NXT will be there. Yep, I just... Hey, Hedgehog. How you doing tonight? Lola and Shayna. <laughs> I love Shayna, man. Lola hasn't grown on me yet, but I love Shayna. It's Memorial Day weekend already? I didn't even fucking know that. <laughs> I didn't even know that. Nice, nice. Pretty sure I'm off Monday, so. If I call in sick, then it will be a three-day weekend for me, too. Wait, no, it won't. Never mind. I work Sunday. <laughs> forgot. I'm usually off Sundays. That's why I forgot. I figure that. <laughs> I figure that. It's going to take more than that for me.
Carmen's good too. Andrade. We do need more tag teams in the women's division. The women's tag belts are hella cursed, though. <laughs> it's Electra. Dude, she is a beast. She really is. Mm -hmm. They need a women's IC belt. They need another belt for the women's division, though. For sure. She's got to be, right? She's got to be doing something. Because, yeah, that'd be crazy to fly her down just for that one little backstage segment. That was, like, less than 10 seconds. For sure. Just don't make too many like AEW. Oh, just don't make too many like AEW. Yeah, no, they just need a women's another women's belt though. Give some of the others a chance. That's what I mean, like a mid card belt. They can make time. Sol Ruka is amazing. She's so good. I love her fucking finisher. AEW is killed with that and a mixture of other shit. It's 
got to be Randy Orton that wins this this match. Him versus Tama. Too much young bucks. Yeah, Naya, Naya defeated Bianca. It's going to be Naya versus Lyra tomorrow. Maybe. That would be a good feud. There's so many things that can happen. Ah, thank you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. <laughs> I plan on keeping doing this, keeping up with doing this. It's my plan. <laughs> ah, you're welcome. I want Queen Lyra so bad. Shame Tatum can't be your psychic. Just because she wasn't brought up doesn't mean they can't still somehow bring her up a little bit later. I just want Tatum on the main roster too. Ah, thank you so much. <laughs> I really do appreciate it. Yeah, I do play games. I've actually just recently been, been uh, replaying Catherine. I still play Last of Us Online. <laughs> In factions, if anyone even knows that exists. Thank you. I've got to add more to it. I still I have like all her plaques. Like Persona. I play a lot. Like I'm just getting caught up now because I got a PS5 this year with all the ones. I have WWE 2K24. Isn't it like, um, I think like Rob something. Rob Schmacher? I can't really say his last name. I can't. But I like got it off of um the WWE store way back, way back in the day. When Lib was like finally starting to get merch. Cause I remember we used to have to beg for Lib merch and now there's too much. I can't even keep up with it. I did get this one though. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
We used to like have to beg to get her merch, man. Girls come a long way. Hell of excited for her. Uh, the Christmas before last. You were there? Oh my God. You were so fucking lucky. I was like bawling my eyes out. I was bawling my fucking eyes out. And I continuously fucking watch that through the week just to recry and recry and recry. It was like literally one of my favorite moments in wrestling. Must have been so much louder in person. Because it was fucking loud on TV, but I can only... Ah, it's probably loud on TV, but I can only fucking imagine in person. Uh, I think a lot of people thought Raquel was going to win. Mm -hmm. It's one of my favorites. I don't understand why she has so many fucking haters either. It's been forever. I remember like a few years ago, there was someone on Twitter. Anytime I'd be like root and live on, they'd be like, shut up. It's never going to happen. She's never going to win. Just give it up. Now look. <laughs> I didn't give it up. Indy and Candace versus Bianca and Jade. Bianca and Jade's going to take that one. I just don't see Logan winning the belt. <laughs> you imagine if he won it, though, but they're not going to do that fucking Saudi. They're not going to do it in Saudi Arabia. That'd be a crazy move, though. Oh, God. Liv did, I know. Yeah, there's just people that can't stand Liv, like legit. They just can't can stand her. Don't get it. Couldn't be me. I don't know. There's a lot of them. Like you saw it when like Rhea got injured because like they all went straight to blaming fucking Liv. But when it happened with Liv and fuck it, when Rhea accidentally did it with Liv, like no one fucking said a word. It's, they make themselves so obvious. So fucking obvious. <laughs> mhm. Mm mhm. Mm Yeah, Liv does really well with it. She don't give a fuck. People forget a lot of things. He's more hyena than he is human.
There's Gunther. Front fucking row. Fans are always fucking fickle. Didn't they turn on Cody for winning? Even though it's literally all they wanted for how long? People don't give Liv the credit, man. They don't give her the credit she deserves. Becky pushed Tiffany, and Becky's helping to push Liv still. I've always appreciated what Becky's done for Liv. And the fact that Ronda pushed for Liv to win the title that time, but people forget that. Mm-hmm. I know. They're fucking annoying. That's what I'm saying. Like, when the whole Jericho retire thing, they're going to turn on that. If he, when he did retire, they'd be really upset and sad and, oh, he was the greatest. Everyone turns, even though they were talking shit before. Oh, yeah, Natalia, too. Natty's always been great to live, man. <laughs> queen Shane. I miss Shotzi too. My king and queen though would be Gunther and Naya. I can't even believe I'm saying that. I feel like it's too soon for uh, Lyra, but I don't know. It could happen. How can we miss him if he won't go away? I know. You guys have to see. You have to lose something to realize what it means. You don't realize what you've lost till it's gone. <laughs> but yeah, that's that goes with everything. I don't know. When is she coming back? I hope soon, but she's probably still... Because didn't she get injured right before Mania? Lily. She could be at this point. I want to see uh, Shotzi and Tegan as a team again. I'd also love to see Dakota Kai and Tegan as a team again. Really? Stop it. Yeah, wasn't it? It was like right before Mania, right? Me and Liv as a team, I do it. We kick some, we kick ass. I think Orton should win this. Saudi Arabia would want Randy over Tama. Let's be honest. Mm hmm. King Gunther. That's what I want. 
Gunther, and Nia. He always just does weird shit, it seems like. No, I don't know. His crawling's kind of weird. I know she can't be trusted, but they're still a good team. And they, like, they're really good in a feud, too, so I'd love to see it again. What is it? I see dead people. Fucking six cent shit up in here. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Nia Jackson. I never thought I would like say that, but I, I think Nia's gonna take it tomorrow. Unless they do do the whole Lyra live thing sooner. Oh, I love scary movies. I've always loved The Sixth Sense, too. Yeah, there's no way this guy's gonna win over fucking Orton. Oh yeah, they're gonna, they'll come in droves. <laughs> I'll give her that. This is like the best she's been. This is the best run she's like had. That's for sure. I know. I was like, there's no fucking way that WWE is going to fire Liv over fucking weed. I'm sorry. Especially after they just had Riddle and like was profiting off of his merch. <laughs> there was no fucking way. People have done way worse and they're still there. She should. Weed's legal here too. Just in Flor Florida where she was at. They're stupid about it. Exactly. Exactly. That's what I mean. I'm pretty sure that's worse. I hope when Rhea gets back and Liv is champion, Liv goes over there first. Yes. Yes. I would love that. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. You just did it on both announce tables. Shit.
I don't know. <laughs> what? <laughs> what have you been smoking? <laughs> <laughs> Solo is a shitty leader, dude. He is a fucking shitty leader. RKO. One, two, three. Yep. Orton wins. Orton versus Gunther. That's a crazy match. That'll be good. Have a great weekend. You too. You too. I didn't even realize it was Memorial Day weekend. Oh, here comes Kevin Owens. Is the Shani. Thank you. Thank you. What'd y'all think of the show tonight? That was pretty good. Bye, take care. Owen's in an RKO shirt. Hopefully, I'm, I'm hoping. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. I got to call them. I do have Twitter. It's, um, why do I not remember? Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, X, uh, it's this one. Hold on. <laughs> All right, take care, y'all. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm excited for Liv, man. My God, I've been following for so long to see this is crazy. All right, yeah, it was a good show. Thanks for coming, everybody. Hit the bell and subscribe if you haven't already. I don't know what I'm pointing at, but you know. <laughs> um. Anyway, hopefully I'll see y'all tomorrow. And yeah, pretty sure I'm off Monday too. So we got Raw then too. So all right, I'll see you all then. Take care. Thanks for coming. Bye.